hello everybody welcome back to my channel if you are new here hi my name is ellie i am a young mom to two children one who's called Deontay, he is nearly four next month and then a baby girl called a more of a dream she is one and a half or she was 19 months yesterday and yeah i went shopping earlier um i've ordered Deontay loads of bits online so when they are here i will do one for Deontay. But I thought I would show you all what I got for Amora. I went in the shops and literally I was telling Deontay to pick like the stuff he wants. Because he's at that age now he can pick his own clothes and everything like that. There was no shoes at all. I found one pair of shoes that I wanted for both of them. But I've ordered him the same ones online because they didn't have them in his size. Because he's now in the kid's size. Obviously she's like the baby's size. And yeah, I've just had to stock up on like loads of clothes and stuff like that. But I'm not finished shopping for them just yet because summer is approaching. But the weather is rubbish. Like normally we'd be having such good weather at this time. We don't. So yeah, here we are. I've just got them. Well, a more mainly. A few little bits and bobs. Which I'm about to show you now. So I'm going to start with Asda first. I literally got her. So I picked her up three books, Deontay's got some books as well, they are downstairs, so she's got this Pepper's Song concert book, at the minute she absolutely loves reading, she reads all the time and Peppa is her favourite thing ever, there were so many Pepper books, but I've realised with the kids not to get them any like paperback books at the minute because she has a habit of like pulling them and ripping them, so I thought this one's kind of cute, grab her this one. And then I got her this Peppers Magical Creatures A Touch and Feel playbook. Now this one, I got this one because this one looked really pretty. And it was just proper like girly and everything. And I loved it. It was so cute. So I just picked up this. And then I picked her up this one, Puddle Playtime. And then it's like, again, a touch and feel one. This one is really, really, really nice as well. So she'll probably read them tonight before bed. But these ones were two for seven pounds. That one was three pounds. These were two for seven pounds, which was really, really good. Most of the books in there are two for seven pounds. Now, moving on to the clothes I got from Asda. So I literally just got her like one outfit set, but they come in a pack of three. So I got her these tops. Look how cute that is. Like it's. That is absolutely beautiful. And then I got her this one, the Winnie the Pooh theme. And I just think they're so cute. And then this brown one, I think it's just, oh no, it's not plain. It says, sometimes the smallest things take up the most room in your heart. And they were just so cute. And then obviously I got the leggings to match. And the first thing I seen was actually the leggings before the tops. And I was like, what do I like potting it up with? And then I see in the tops and I was just in love with these whole sets. And normally I don't go for stuff like this. Um, I like all my boutique stuff. I like the little rompers and everything like that. But these were just beautiful. These were £8.50 and then that was £9.50 for the um, top of the set of tops. I'm not really good with my wears today. But yeah, so she's got some brown ones with a little bear. She's got purple ones, like plain purple lilac ones. And then she's got them. I love them. They're so beautiful. She'll probably wear one of those tomorrow. Now, moving on to next. So I think I literally just got her one outfit from here as well. Because there was so much stuff in there. But just not my type of stuff. Like it was all like loads of flowery kind of stuff but it wasn't just like cute little flowers it was so many different colors like it uh, yeah no but i loved this so it's like little flares at the bottoms like oversized so she'll probably have, like boots or something with that and then you just get the top this was 13 pounds which i thought was really good but i actually like this set because this this just it's like this color looks absolutely beautiful on her she's got um a similar color in like a tracksuit and She's absolutely beautiful. Now on to Primark. So I spent quite a lot in here. It didn't go as I expected it to. So I'm going to have to go to the town one. But um, Dionte got this bath bomb. I always get him a bath bomb when I go in there. So he got this bath bomb. It was kind of cute to be fair. I then got this bag for the funeral as the theme is like purple. You've got to wear something purple. So I know what outfit I'm going to wear. And then that purple bag as well. Just 
it's not big there was like a big one like my machino bag but i didn't want a big one for the day so i just needed this to fit my phone my money my card my keys and yeah i thought that was kind of cute and that was only six pounds so yeah that was really good i got her two packs of these just plain white vests short sleeve vests they were two pound fifty just because these have an essential she needed the next size up and she doesn't obviously wear a vest with every single outfit now because it sometimes it is warm and because some of her outfits um are like one little strap so she doesn't always wear a vest but when she does need to wear one i just got her some plain white ones i didn't have time to be going and looking for the pink ones and everything like that i wasn't really too bothered to be fair for myself i just got this set i love these sets i have so many different colors to the point like i need to just literally get i think like the yellow one but yeah these are five pounds you cannot go wrong with these matching sets in primark they just are amazing right now i am pale gale but normally i go on sunbeds which i'm going to be going back i was going to go today but i didn't go i'm absolutely shattered but when i go back that will make my skin look amazing i then just picked up amora some jeans i was going to get her two pairs and i thought no because she doesn't really need two pairs because i always am washing clothes so it's like she's never gonna be without because her clothes are always washed yeah they were four pounds just casual blue jeans you can't go wrong with some blue jeans can you i then picked tag up this pepper pig towel i looked for one for diante you know just even like a plain one but they only had these sizes like she could have done with a bigger one this is 12 to 24 months and yeah it's just a pepper one it's got a hood and i thought like i said she's obsessed with pepper pig at the minute so yeah i just got her that i thought that was kind of cute because she always takes the towel off when she's had a bath and this was literally that was 10 pounds i didn't realize it was 10 pounds i thought it was like four five pounds oh my gosh 10 pounds 10 pounds for that i wouldn't have bothered i then went and got her this like dungaree set how beautiful is that like the top is checkered i think it's absolutely beautiful again it's bright colored this was only nine pounds and i seen it i literally i didn't even like pick it up think about it i literally looked straight for a size and that was it but i love that that is so beautiful because i've gone for a lot of clothes as well that you can pair up with tights or you can wear a coat or something with because like i said we've not really had really 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 hot days where she's gonna be all like legs out and everything now when i go primark i always look for these type of tracksuits for her um you'd have seen in a lot of my tiktoks and youtube videos that she has like um I feel like little flowers it's white it's got like pink and stuff little tracksuit i've got that for when we go places like twin lakes or we go somewhere and she just needs to be comfortable or if we're going on a long car drive or yeah it's just as i was saying before i was interrupted so yeah i always get her these tracksuits because they're just super super cheap they're so comfortable and you can actually get some cute ones like look so there weren't too many in her size today but they had loads of lovely ones and they're so cheap like that was like three pounds for the top for the jumper and then three pounds again for this you can't go wrong like it's just something you can't go wrong with and i think that is actually so so cute it's like flowers how cute is that obviously again trousers trousers have got little it's not a pocket it's like a little decoration thing but yeah as i said you can't go wrong with that i think they're absolutely cute as hell diante picked up a water bottle i've got this in pink and i thought you know what because we go on days out and stuff this would just save us money as well like having to keep buying drinks so yeah i just grabbed him a water bottle he he seen it i was gonna get a new one and then he didn't pick it up and i was like go and get it like honestly with me with my children i mainly when they ask for something i do get it them not because i'm spoiling them because i don't know like i just always get them kind of what they want unless it's totally unnecessary like diante kicked off because i won't get him this lightsaber from asda but there weren't no way he was having a lightsaber and bringing that home because the tv would have been smashed people would have been hurt weren't a good idea dante then picked up this other bath bomb that's kind of cute that is it's got so many different colors he loves bath bombs like me we love bath bombs 
I then got a more of these mini mouse sunglasses. Dionte got some new sunglasses the other week and they didn't have none for Amora. So she loved wearing them. They was two pounds. So I picked her those up today because again, it's sunny. Like she loves wearing them. If she didn't bother with wearing them, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have wasted my money, but she, she loves wearing them. You can't not go into Primark and you can't go in Primark and not buy these wipes. These wipes just make the face feel so refreshed. And I think it actually helped reduce spots and stuff as well, to be fair. I then picked up a pack of hair bubbles. Here's the other vests I got for her. And then she needed some new pyjamas. Now, I don't put baby grows on her anymore because she takes them off. So, she already does have some pyjamas. But, you know when you feel like you could just do with like one more pack of something or one more of something that's how i felt with the pajamas so i got her these disney ones and i think they're so cute yeah that is them down at the bottom and i just think they are so cute so yeah she's going to be wearing those tonight for sure you can't go in primark again and not buy any socks for your kids now my kids socks go missing like there's no tomorrow day on tape i got some for him the other day off my dad the ones he has i get them from my dad but these oh my gosh like they are so cute they're pink and you got like two white pairs but there was no time for me just to get white and i thought you know what they are actually beautiful so i just picked up the pink ones because she needed them no doubt all of them will be missing by next week and i'll have to go get some more but it is what it is and then the last thing i grabbed was so you always have in primark them shelves with the tops that are like one pound this was one pound 30. i always look on there that is also where i get those track suits from as well um always look on there because you know when your kids go park or you go for a day out there you know your child could potentially get messy or if they go nursery or baby groups and stuff like that honestly just go and grab a few t-shirts for a pound what is the point like when amora was first born she was literally always in boutique stuff rompers everything like that dresses and she still wears all of that now but she is a toddler and she does get messy even when she eats oh my gosh amora loves food she's always she's always getting messy so i picked up this top i thought it was really cute because it's her grandma's favorite color and her grandma sadly passed away it'll be two weeks so yeah and it was her favourite, favourite colour ever. And I just thought of her when I seen that. And I thought, you know, she did see that. She'd have gone, oh my gosh, I loved your outfit, Amora. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. And then I just got her these shorts. They was £1.30. These are just fit in the garden. I don't think I'd let her go out in these. I think they just fit in the garden. But yeah, that is literally everything I've brought. Um, and then Deontay also got some toys that he took them with him because he's gone with his uncle so yeah he took them with him but Dante got quite a lot of toys he didn't get many like he didn't get clothes from here I ordered him clothes but he's got toys instead I promised him I'd get him some new toys that's what he got outside looks absolutely freezing everybody it looks so good oh my gosh I didn't show you your mom's new shoes let me show y'all so i just got her some new jordans because why not and like i said the funeral has got purple theme to it these are the ones i've ordered for diane as well so i just got her these because there was like only 40 pounds and i thought if she could wear them at the funeral they've got purple on so i grabbed her those which they were really really cute they're really cute yeah but tonight it is just me and amora like i said dante has gone with his uncle so i think this video is mainly gonna be me organizing my drawers tidying up and everything like that because i need a whole new clean with me kind of video um everything's a state everything is literally a state and like i said i need to get rid of so many of their clothes and stuff for when diante's new clothes arrive and amora has obviously just got a few new bits i've not finished getting her everything because i needed to go in river island because i need to get her some more boots and i need to get her some new outfits from in there but diante was just in a mood and then after we was in mcdonald's i then had to go asda to stock upon like nappies and essential things like that so 
I just then didn't want to walk back from Asda all the way to River Island. It was long, weren't a bit of me. So yeah, that is everything I've brought today. I have spent quite a lot and literally, it's like kids actually cost like such a fortune, it's actually mad. But I'm gonna speak to you all in like a little while. I'm gonna chill out for a minute and then I'm gonna organize and then yes you guys can help me organize everything because i need your help i really do but yeah it's a lot lot later now Mora is asleep and she's fell asleep in her peppa pig towel like she's not used it yet she literally wanted it on and fell asleep with it on so i've got loads of like um laundry to put away so you lot help me i'm gonna start putting in piles because like i said i need to sort out amora's um and diane's hairs what to call it clothes and get rid of literally like loads of their clothes that like maybe will fit them for a little bit longer but not to have the clothes they'd wear now it's kind of an awkward one so yeah it's literally what i'm gonna start doing now because listen at the end of the day, at the end of the day, kids grow so fast, don't they, everyone? Like, serious, yeah? I'm going to let them all wear this tomorrow. So, I'm going to take it off here and I'm going to fold it up. Because I want her to wear this tomorrow, I think. I don't know what to do with her tomorrow because, obviously, it's just her. I've not got down today. And, yeah, I don't know what to do with her. I've got my rubbish bag just there. I'm just using my Primark bag because... I won't keep my grandma back. So that is what I'm doing. Yeah, I'm gonna let her wear this next set tomorrow, I think. Or oh, I might even put her in that tracksuit. I'm not too sure yet. But I need to check the weather. And then I can thing is so actually I might just put it in the drawers. My head is just all over the place. I don't even know what I'm doing in my life right now, let alone sorting the kids' stuff out. It is so late as well, like literally so late. And I'm here folding clothes, putting them away. But it needs to be done, like, serious, yeah. I've been thinking a lot recently. And I've just come to the conclusion that I really, really don't care about who I lose anymore in life. Like, I've been deep in it for a while now. And it's a bit of like, what's it? in not depressing subject or something like negative but it is in a way but then it's reality like i really don't care about who i lose anymore because in life you're only ever going to love yourself and you only need yourself to be there for you as much as you might think like you need other people to be there for you and stuff you don't and i've literally come to realization recently that i actually don't need anyone like there's a few people obviously around me that i don't want them to leave my life ever <laughs> and there's literally a few people but you don't need anyone in life like you can survive on your own because you was born alone you know what i'm trying to say like, and me right now And me right now, yeah, couldn't care less because I might even put on one of these outfits. The problem is when I get a more on new clothes, yeah, is I then just want to put her in everything the next day. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Like, I'm thinking maybe putting her in one of these outfits. I need to see the weather. As soon as I've checked the weather, I will know what to put her in. But until I've seen the weather because I know that it was raining like 20 minutes ago I can't believe yeah how fast Dante is growing like he's literally so big now and he's just like a teenager he is he's literally like a teenager now it's mad to think four years ago I was about to give birth it really 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 is and do you know what as well losing someone that 
was so so close to me and did so much for me in life has also just made me realize like you can do everything on your own as well um because i like i will not lie i relied on her a lot she helped me with so much she helped me with motherhood she helped me with life in general she helped me express my feelings she helped me with careers she helped me with everything like anything i ever needed she literally helped me and losing her is just made me realize like i'm gonna have to do it without her now because like i was saying to you all the other day it's not sunk in yet and it's still not sunk in i think i'm gonna leave this on the hang on hang this up for now yeah i'm gonna do that like it's not sunk in but it has it's sunk in in the sense of she won't ever be coming back and i've sat here and i've cried and i had dreams and there's some days i just think oh no she's gonna give me a call tomorrow like she's working she's gonna come message me and see if she can have a more and then i realized like she's not she's not going to do that at all she's not gonna message me she's she's really gone and she's never ever going to be gone from me completely she's never ever going to be out of my life because even though she's not here physically she's here mentally she's here spiritually and i'm getting upset talking about it but yeah i miss her so much and she did so much for me and my kids like literally the kids was so close to their grandma like really really close and the same day she got ill um i was in her car that morning and was talking was talking about life and she was meant to come for mora later that day and um, she was meant to come back for amora and it, 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 do you know what breaks my heart even more? It breaks my heart the fact of my kids, like Diante will remember her and Diante knows she's with the angels and he keeps telling like me and my mum and stuff like, oh yeah, like grandma, she's with the helicopter, she's with the angels, this, this and this. And he will, I think, remember like memories. But Amor was not going to remember memories like i don't think amora is going to remember and that is what gets me more upset because it's like she did so much for amora that i want her to i wish amora could remember every memory they made but i wish amora would be able to remember everything about her and that's what breaks my heart even more like do you know when you grow up and someone's telling you about oh yeah you know when you were baby you were told, that's literally what people are going to say to my children and that's what's really upsetting because it shouldn't have had to be like that like we spoke about Amora's first day at school Diante's first day at school how you know um, what we do when Amora's older than Amora has a boyfriend or a girlfriend one day like we spoke about everything we spoke about when your mom was older and she goes to grandma's house or she rings grandma like listen mom is doing my day and this this and this and she's not gonna have none of that like it's so so sad and I honestly just wish they can stay I honestly just wish everything was different I do I wish everything was different because this ain't it this isn't it like I've sat there and I've wondered the past like few weeks and stuff I've thought why like what have I done in life to like let her leave so young like i'm still so young to lose her 
and um, I, truthfully, I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready to lose her, and it really, really upsets me. But what can, what can I do? Um, her funeral was coming up, and I brought that purple bag for the funeral. Um, as like the theme is like some like, purple so I brought that bag obviously them shoes I got they were for the funeral for Amora to wear that's why I got down to the same ones and then their cousin um, is going to have the same ones as them as well so that will be nice but we shouldn't have to be planning her funeral we shouldn't have to be but yeah, literally, I don't, I don't know, I don't know, I suppose I've just got to get on with life, that's all I can do at the minute, but how is everyone anyway, how's everyone doing, because I've told you all how I'm doing, I want to know how all you lot are doing, because I feel like obviously I haven't really been consistent recently like when um, I uploaded that last video like before the one that went up before this it said I last uploaded a month ago and I thought a month I haven't caught with you guys properly for a whole month like I've said TikTok and whatever but I don't think every single one of you has TikTok that watches my YouTube I'll be surprised if you all have to talk. I won't be really surprised because it's like the new trend kind of thing, ain't it? But you know what I mean. But yeah, I hope that you lot are all doing okay because you lot actually help me with a lot that you wouldn't realise because you're not you're not physically with me. But, you know, speaking to you guys, like, you lot are going to all listen to this. When this goes out tomorrow, I literally, I've got to get back into, obviously, uploading and everything. So, the vlogs soon will be like, I'll be recording things and you guys won't be seeing them for a few weeks because I'll have, like, so many uploads. But whilst I'm going back into it, what I've been doing is, obviously, because... I've recorded this, I don't want to wait too long to like get this out to you all, so you're not going to literally see this in like two days, and yeah, I want to know how everyone's doing, I want to know what have you all been up to, how's summer going for you all so far, because like I said earlier, we've not even, we've not even had a summer yet, like serious, we've not even had a summer yet. We're now back. We went to Nando's. It was Amora's first of a time at Nando's, everyone. We literally, we nipped into town. We then went Nando's. She loved it. I didn't record whilst we was out. My head feels so fried right now. So, I got went into some new trainers downstairs. I'll show you more later. I then picked Amora up her first ever vans because I need some shoes, like trainers, that are going to go with like dresses and stuff as well. And I've seen these and I thought they are really, really, really cute. So I just literally got her some bands. I got those in a size 5. I then got this hair detangler today because they didn't have the one I normally get. This was 2 dollars from Beauty Queens. 
so yeah that it smells really nice though and i have used it before i think this is the one that smells nice oh man, that's heavy, that. mm, it smells all right i just got some more hair stuff for them i then got the lente a new nike tracksuit because yeah he needed some new tracksuits so there was literally hardly anything there was mainly like shorts and tops not tracksuits um and i'm not even gonna bother buying loads of shorts and tops because there's really really no point um we've not even had summer yet but i did pick up this shorts and top set so it's just this like uh, jordan one thought that top was kind of cute because the thing is is obviously he can wear this top with truck suits as well and then these shorts i think they're beautiful to be fair they're really cute so i just got him those and then i went in primark again but i went in the town one and they didn't even really have much you know like i've realized why is it whenever i'm going to actually buy something and i think yeah i need to go and get the kids some bits they never have anything nice but i picked up diamond k some new black jeans um these are for the funeral i literally he just needed some fresh black ones he does have black jeans already but he needs some just fresh ones because you know the fresh black like and then I just got him these like grey ones. I thought they was kind of cute. He's got loads of blue ones in his size now. So yeah, he's good for those. And then I just got a Mora. This. I thought that was kind of cute. This was eight, six pounds. Yeah, I thought, thought that was kind of cute. So that is all I've brought today. We had a Greg's. We've actually ate like quite a lot today, me and my house. Now she is going to sleep. And I think I might go for a nap because I am absolutely shattered. But I need to take my jumper off because I'm so hot. I'm actually so warm, the radiators are on. And yeah, I'm getting a little bit flustered. Oof. but yeah i'm gonna probably just go for a nap now and then when we're awake diante will be back in a bit as well so when we are awake and amora's back upstairs or we'll just when she's awake i will say hey Come back to you. <laughs> get your hat get your hat Put your hat on. <laughs> she's so funny, everyone. So, yeah, she's not long awake up. I went for literally like an hour and a half. I was awake way before she was. <sighs> I've got so much to do. So much to do before Dan to get back. It's three o'clock. So, yes. Guys, so what you do? Obviously, I'm trying to be so consistent with you all now. Um, you love had that like a million times, so I'm not even gonna keep saying I'm just gonna do it now because words don't mean nothing in life. Words don't mean nothing. It is actually a lot, lot, lot later, and I'm not doing anything exciting at all as of from now. Mora is gonna have her dinner and then just waiting for Dante to come home and then I'm literally gonna bath them. They're gonna go to bed. I'm gonna have a bath and I'm gonna go to bed. So I'm just gonna end this vlog here. So I love you all and I'll see you on my next video. Bye.